30, 40 seconds about. Yeah, I do, I do, I do my best work in about 30, 40 seconds. All right, here, here's, here's the wrap up. And we knew if he got hurt again like this, Tom Taylor wisely stepped in. Isaac Pitbull cruises triumphant eighth round victory over the divisive Rolando Romero. Here are the pros' reactions after the fight. Jim Lampley reacts to Pitbull Cruz knocking out Raleigh Romero as he feels that Ryan Garcia will be intimidated by Pitbull the same way Raleigh Romero was, and that he will be running scared in a Ryan Garcia versus Pitbull Cruz fight. That was a resolute go forward, I'm going to destroy you performance. Uh, it was done with arrogance and uh, seeming malice. He's vicious the way he attacks the opponent. He lands big shots. Uh, he goes in the only direction that Mexican fans want to see him go in. Uh, potentially a tremendous audience attraction. Well, he looks like the one who is most a destroyer. He looks like the one who is most willing to throw big swinging, wide arcing punches to try to land something big. Um, you know, that might walk him right into getting totally outboxed by some of the people in the division who have more craft and use more craft or he just might intimidate everybody and blow them out. Favor him against Ryan Garcia. I'm you think sorry. He'd beat Ryan I, Garcia? I think he would beat I think he would scare Ryan Garcia just the same way he scared Raleigh Romero. Wow. Leonard Alerbe responded to Pitbull Cruz's victory over Raleigh Romero via TKO in his reaction and discussed his impressions of the fight. Good good fight. Very very good fight for the fans. Um Raleigh came up short tonight. Congratulations to Pitbull and his team. They fought a very good fight. No, no, Raleigh didn't overestimate him. And this is this is boxing happens this is boxing it's not a, he didn't overestimate him he was in phenomenal shape um he he did some good things in the fight you know he was boxing you know he just kind of got away from that from that but this happens you know i'm proud of roly you know he went in there and and gave it his all he came up short tonight that, it happens this is part of the sport he come off of a, a tough loss tonight you know again this is boxing you know, we're, I'm, I'm not even thinking about none of that. I, I, I'm cons always concerned about the health and welfare of my fighters. He's okay, and that's that. After Raleigh Romero's KO loss to Isaac Cruz Jr., Abner Mares extends a compassionate message, echoing empathy and support. I feel bad for Roley. I mean, people, you know, I might know him outside the ring. He's a good person. He's a good kid. He talks a lot, though. Unfortunately, you know, a lot of people dislike him because of that, the, the persona that he, you know, that he is. And, uh... And it's sad, you know, at the end, I'm against, you know, uh, interviewing fighters after they get, they get knocked out. Thank you. Because they're not all there. They're like, they just got knocked out and, you know, they got so much on their mind. So when they interviewed uh, Roby Romero, he said, uh, he, he wasn't like that. Happy Easter. And uh, he wasn't making sense, unfortunately. And, uh, I wish him the best. Oscar De La Hoya and Bernard Hopkins shared a chuckle as Raleigh Romero was hit by Pitbull. <laughs> <laughs> Ryan Garcia proposes Raleigh's dive into influencer boxing as he opted to spar with Pitbull, leading to a swift knockout. Garcia wrote on X, Remember when Raleigh's thought he pulled a fast one on me by choosing to fight Pitbull the last second, and then proceeded to get knocked out by a 125-pounder? Main to the co to the KO. In all seriousness, Raleigh needs to do influencer boxing, and I'm not kidding, I think Dean beats him. Acknowledging Pitbull's fighting spirit, Ryan expresses respect and openness to a future fight after Devin Haney. He wrote on X, In the end, I respect Pitbull. He's a small fighter able to co-bigger fighters. A fight would be great. Let's do it one day. I'm focused on the task ahead, but that would be fun. Shakur Stevenson shared his thought on X emphasized the need for boxing skill over raw power. He wrote, You gotta know boxing. Raleigh is wild reckless, but very strong. Pupple constantly walks you down and try to break your will. You need skills to beat him. No strong awkward fighter has gone beat him. But most people don't know sh about boxing, so. Kenny Porter suggests that Raleigh Romero needs to step back and fight mid-level opponents to regain his status after his loss to Isaac Cruz. Raleigh's dominated, and uh, where, where did these guys go in the stack division? Because it's 140. Uh, the bull is somebody's, most, most of those guys at 140 is not going to want to mess with. He is definitely uh, a guy that you want to yeah, think twice about before you say, yeah, let's sign that contract. Roly, on the other hand, he needs probably to take a few steps back and fight some mid-level fighters to get himself back to 
that status because, as I was saying to somebody earlier, if you recall, Rory was only like 15 fights in or something, and Tank and Floyd's contract was ending, and Floyd knew that. So Floyd did a, made a business decision, which was to put Tank and Roly in the ring together. And at that time, Roly wasn't ready for that type of competition, right? And he didn't fare well against Tank. But it allowed him to be seen and heard, so now he's getting other fights. But that, you know, just talking yeah. about it, don't mean you're ready for those kind of fights. And as we see what happens now, when he steps in there with that level of competition again. Abel Sanchez commented on Isaac Cruz's victory over Raleigh Romero. Congratulations to Isaac. Congratulations to uh, Fundora. Congratulations to Sergey. You know Fundora very well. Yeah, yeah when he was in my gym, and so was Sergey. So Sergey done real well. That's I'm happy for them. Uh -huh. Julio Cesar Chavez Jr. responds to Isaac Cruz's knockout victory over Raleigh Romero and advises Romero not to retire. For starts, um, Isaac Cruz Pitbull, he stopped Rolando Romero tonight. I think Pitbull is ready to to beat uh, Dan, you know? Dan. I think uh, Pitbull is better now than when he fought, you know? When, I'm, when he fought uh, Dan, I think it's like the first fight in TV. So now I see Pitbull is one of the best fighters. I think he's the best fighter in Mexico. What do you tell Rolando Romero? Any advice to Rolando Romero? The first I think you need, you need more uh, like uh, changes of style, you know, like it's too wild, like every fighter can predict what uh, Rolly brings to the, to the table when he fights, so he needs to change something, you know, because no retirement, no retirement for all these key fights. Oh, wow, you know? Somebody lost, somebody wins, so you need to come up with yeah. Danny Garcia responded to the fight, where the referee intervened to potentially save Raleigh's career by stopping the match. Yo, that was a crazy fight. That was a, that was a bar. Did Raleigh come back from that, Danny? Huh? How did he come back from that? He took a beating a little bit at the end. He took a little beating, but I think they stopped in time, so they kind of saved his career. Isaac Pitbull Cruz made it look easy on Saturday night, beating the stuffing out of Rolando Raleigh Romero to stop him in the eighth round to capture his WBA light welterweight title at the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas. He stated after the match press conference, I'm very happy and humbled to win this title for my family and for Mexico. I was prepared for this. I wasn't here to just fight. I was here to terminate him. I did my talking right here in the ring. And I did this not just for me, but for everybody that is here at T-Mobile Arena. There's going to be a Mexican champ at 140 pounds for a long time. Many thought the match would be closer to a 50-50 before the fight. Raleigh Romero had no doubts whatsoever about taking down Isaac Cruz. He warned everyone to pay attention to the fight because it will be explosive during the weigh-in. 139 and a half pounds, 139 and a half pounds. You guys gonna see, I mean, tomorrow he's getting knocked out and that's that. I mean, I've said a million times, so I don't really, I don't really got to say anything else. The fight's tomorrow, y'all tune in, it's an explosive fight. Raleigh was sure that he'd knock out Pitbull in less than 30 seconds. 30, 40 seconds about. Yeah, I do, I do, I do my best work in about 30, 40 seconds. Teofimo Lopez highlighted the recent back injury of Raleigh Romero and thinks that it might play a huge factor during the fight. Lopez believes that Cruz can take advantage of Raleigh's weakness. Uh, Rolando Romero is coming off a really bad back injury. You know, and, and he has a lot of problems there. You guys probably didn't know about that, huh? Well, I did. I know a lot of shit. Uh, it's time to expose everybody. So, you know, my whole thing is that, you know, he got a lot of back problems, a lot of neck problems. Maybe Pitbull could um, take advantage of that when they face each other. Uh, whoever did the, um, the banner, though, it should just be Romero versus Cruz. I don't think it should be called Roly versus Pitbull. Uh, it doesn't make sense, but hey, I'm not, I'm not on that side. We're on this side over here. So, um... You know, I wish nothing but the best for these guys. Everyone's coming to 140 for a reason because Teofimo X'd out the big king, the big guy. That was Josh Taylor. Now everybody want to come to 140. So that's all from today. Remember to leave a like, subscribe, and ring that bell icon so you never miss our upcoming videos.